Hi, my name's Steve and welcome to the Seaside Allotment Channel. And it's harvest day today, but I'm stuck in the polytunnel because it's absolutely chucking it down with the rain outside, which is very welcome, but it's not uh, perfect weather for harvesting in. So I thought, well, I'll pop in here and do a quick video because I think this week is the biggest harvest week that we've ever done in the history, four year history of our allotments. And we did the bulk harvest of the um, broad beans, which was kind of amazing. Um, <laughs> it really is raining. Um, and we did the bulk harvest of the garlic. And I think it was the best harvest of it, both of those. Um, and we harvested by wheelbarrow, which is just the way we like doing the bulk harvests. And I was really pleased with those. Uh, I think in total, actually, we're just breaking the £5,000 barrier for what we've harvested this year so far. So, you know, between January the 1st and, what is it now, um, solstice, anyway, um, June 21st, yeah, we've harvested £5,000 worth of fruit and veg. So I'm really thrilled with that. I think um, that's by far the most that we've harvested in, uh, in any previous year. And that is our kind of pattern, you know, that we're always trying to harvest more with less work year on year. Um, and that's kind of part of a strategy because we're getting old. And so the older we get, the less work we want to do. And um, so, you know, but we still want to harvest plenty of food. So each year we're trying to do less work uh, and harvest more. And then gradually, probably over time, uh, we'll harvest a little bit less with even less work uh, and gradually sort of fade into a very relaxed old age um, but i also just wanted to talk about the small harvests because you know actually one of the wonderful things about being self-sufficient is that you get to really anticipate the first harvests of things and uh, you know right now we're just harvesting the first few beans the quantity of beans is doubling every week we're harvesting two or three times a week and you know we're getting a nice sort of handful of beans and that's beautiful uh, we're harvesting the first of this year's planting of carrots a little bit behind uh, due to some timing errors on on my part but it's still nice to have the first carrots we're harvesting the first tomatoes we've been harvesting cucumbers for quite a little while now um, we're harvesting um, the first of the squash, the Trumpuccino uh, type squash. Um, uh, we've been harvesting courgettes for, for ages. Um, and the first beetroot. We could have been harvesting beetroot quite a while ago, actually, to be honest. But uh, we've got such a lot of beetroot in store, it just seems a shame to harvest new season stuff. Um, but it really, yeah, it's just that sense of anticipation. The first raspberries, the first cherries, the first strawberries, the first gooseberries this week. Um, you know, the first celery, it just, you know, all these first just keep coming uh, in spring and early summer. And it's just, you know, it's a really, really lovely feeling. We harvested the first peppers uh, yesterday and the first chili peppers and, you know, and sweet peppers. And yeah, it's just, it's, it's such an exciting time. And those first, although they're tiny quantities, tiny little harvests by comparison with what we're going to be doing you know in two or three weeks time they're just so welcome and it's just so exciting so it's not all about the big harvests you know a lot of it for me is about the first harvests and uh, yeah so, so I really love that and even the successions you know because obviously things like calabrese we've been harvesting those uh, months ago uh, but we've seen the first heads of uh, of the second is the third the third succession of calabrese starting to come in now uh, and uh, the first cauliflowers um, of, of the second succession of cauliflowers you know that sort of thing so um, yeah I love it I, I really do and we've also just harvested the first of the second earlies so we had the first earlies in the polytunnel in April the first uh, uh, the first early is outside in May and now the first of the second early is in June and my tripod has just broken I've always been looking for a good excuse to get another tripod but uh, anyway yeah so uh, 
Yeah, each succession of those potatoes, wonderful. I don't want to forget the last harvests because sometimes they're almost as, as exciting. So sometimes, you know, some things I just love and I could eat them every day and I probably do. So fresh carrots and beetroot and things like that. But some things I just grow weary of. So things like radishes, we started harvesting those in March. So we've been eating those for quite a few months now. And I just don't like growing radishes in summer. They're just not a great crop. So I'm really pleased that I've just picked my last crop of radishes and uh, I'll be switching over to something that's a little bit different like cucumelons or something like that as an alternative uh, until September when we start harvesting radishes again and I'll be back in love with them again uh, for uh, another few months until we stop. We harvest our last crop of radish probably in about December time, something like that. And then we have a nice little break when we switch to ochre and, uh, and then we're back on radishes in March. Anyway, it stopped raining. And so uh, I'm gonna go out and uh, carry on with the harvest. So I've actually just finished the harvest. We've just got to start packing up now. Uh, it's a pretty nice selection. Smoothies at the end. Just a few broad beans here. Spring onions, onions, carrots, all that sort of thing. Lots of uh, spinach. This is perpetual spinach. These are the selection boxes for the kids. So courgettes, peppers, peas, garlic, onions, potatoes. I've got a few of those. Some more here. More here. Another one here. And loads of cooking greens few beans, more broad beans, another selection box and then these are kind of little odds and sods so there's, I'm trying to think what's in there, garlic, onions, um, radishes, mosh two peas, those sorts of things, uh, peppers, a few peppers, Gold, garlic, and over to the salads, salad mixes, spring onions, more salad mixes. We do bag up some salads for some other family that don't uh, have enough space in their fridge for these containers. A few more radish. A few more spring onions. I think that is pretty much it. So I hope you like this quick video. My name's Steve. This is the Seaside Lockmate channel and I'll see you soon. Bye.